Pat can confirm his no, dad, dad didn't really love me. No, dad really didn't love him. He tells me all the time. He's like, my dad didn't love me. And then I hug him, and then he pulls out his dick. And that's usually, <laughs> no. that's our friendship. <laughs> that's our friendship. <laughs>
Probably not. Probably not. Because, because you know, because you know what, you wouldn't expect it though. If he doesn't yeah. shake hands with me first, and then bump, and then sit on his butt, then I don't know what the fuck I'm yeah, gonna because do. Because isn't true. fighting in the ring? It's like a different <laughs> mindset than fighting out in the street. Like you're not ready for it. You're not prepared yeah. for it. How would you have got, got away fight. if you were the first victim, Jeffrey Dahmer? How would you have got out of that situation? Oh, as soon as he was like, "Hey, uh, you want to come back to my place and take some photos?" I'd be like, "I'm good, sir." And no, you're, let's say you're already there. He's like, "I wanted to take some martial arts photos," and you're fucking an idiot. So yeah. He's, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, he's like, "I'm gonna get you some headshots." <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm in the bathroom getting pumped up and shit. Doors are locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doors are locked. I'm, yeah, I'm in a gi and I'm making the sounds with the gi. You're already in the point where he's holding the knife and he's telling you to do shit. How do you get out of that as a fighter? I, you know, watching that scene, I, in the first episode of Dahmer, I was like, I think he would have murked me for sure. I don't think I would have gotten out. Just no hope. I think Nick would have fucked him so good that he would have passed <laughs> I would have gave really him nice. some <laughs> And then would have got out like this yeah. guy just walked out the, the front door. Hey, <laughs> hey thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for having my back. I <laughs> yeah, I, I would do that. I would do that. You would have just kissed him. Bro. I would blow his just back out him. so good, dude. <laughs> It's all, all for survivorship, years, though. All years in martial arts, you have no defense for that situation. Fuck, dude. Let me, let me, let's, let's like, if you had it. Yeah, knife, try it out. Let's see. Like, see, this wouldn't work, bro. Is knife you got, you <laughs> That's gotta, all you got. Yeah, yeah. You gotta hold it a little game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and it just, is this a game? If I go, <laughs> like, wait, hold the knife. If I go like, <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Huh? Pretty gay. I think that's just kung fu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks pretty tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that, and I, I, I remember looking at that machete, and I was like. That's a fucking really big machete, dude. Mm -hmm. That's that's really big. But isn't there ways to disarm a guy from a machete? I don't know. You know the best way to get <laughs> Before they it's disarm like, you. It's not my wheelhouse, dude. So I actually, you know seniors fight back? I actually yeah, yeah, went yeah. to that. Because oh, you did? Like, yeah, I was helping them out. And uh, Ron Skolzdang, yeah, he was teaching, right? And he was saying like the best thing to do in situations like that is to just be aware. And to not even be in that situation in the first place, because that's the best self-defense. Don't get that's old. Kind of <laughs> Don't walk down the street. Don't uh -oh. get old. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. Abstinence is the best way. <laughs> it is. Don't be a horny guy. It literally is, though. Don't be a horny guy. Don't be a horny guy. That's, that's what all. Yeah, that's yeah. true. When you are in that situation and yeah. they have a weapon, you want to like grab them. Right here and do a clinch. A clinch is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. 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 So what if, if the guy has a machete? Well, yeah. yeah. What yeah, if yeah. he's a you gotta come murder. in like this and he's gonna like you know what I mean? Yeah, but can't try it on Pat right now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's workshop it, huh? I think you gotta get a stool or a chair. Yeah, you gotta create this. And then yeah, yeah. just like in Chinese like, films where they get the folding chair with a. Oh, stool you know what? Seat. If I had a jacket, I take that off, dude. And I go you classic Jackie, and I go, hey, don't want trouble. I don't want trouble. Hey, that's true. <laughs> then I put my jacket on him. I just watch that movie again. <laughs> Rush Hour. It's so fucking good. Rush Hour is such a good movie. Rush Hour is a, yeah. a gem. It's a class. Oh my, I gotta watch it again. It's so good. Is it, it the fourth it's... in production right now? I don't know. Is it? I believe it. I think so. Nothing yeah. beats one. Yeah, nothing yeah. beats oh, one. Oh, yeah. One's Juntao, like, right? Hey, what are we doing? Yeah, Juntao. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, Juntao. <laughs> Juntao. Juntao's underrated, dude. There's a reason we all remember that guy. Dude, that dude's sick. Yeah. He needs his own spinoff. Yeah, that fool is cool. like cultural. You know what I mean? Yeah, we need dude. we need Juntao minute. <laughs> dude, he was ahead of his time, man. He had the blonde hair and everything. Yeah, dude, like, he was fucking Asian Cisco. That's what K-pop is now. Yeah. But that wasn't Juntao. Juntao was the white guy. The, oh, the yeah, guy with right. the blonde oh, hair, yeah. the Asian guy, the Cisco yeah. Asian guy was. Yeah, Cisco Asian guy was the assistant. Yeah, oh, the what's assistant. that guy's name? But he was unnamed. I thought that was Juntao. That guy didn't no. even have a name? That guy was assumed Juntao. that it was Juntao. You thought he was Juntao. Oh, he's yeah. the fake Juntao. Yeah. Yeah. They faked you out oh, with a white man. Wow. Spoiler <laughs> alert, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's akin to the. It, My bad. It's a Star Wars level spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> Juntao's not Juntao. If you haven't seen Rush Hour by now, it's like. Yeah, what are you doing, dude? Don't be an asshole. When did Rush Hour come out? Sorry, who gives? Fuck. No, right. yeah, continue. <laughs> Back to Donald, let's go would across some serious Would you guys be like more uh, sensitive about uh, like the Dahmer thing resurging if uh, he had only killed Indian guys? <laughs> what? If he had only killed <laughs> Like Indian if that was dudes. his MO, to kill straight Indian males. comedians. Males. Straight Indian males? From Jersey. I'm like, Who are not doctors. I <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know how I would feel about it. And Think like, about that demo. All the Indians that didn't become doctors uh, from Jersey. Because you know, like one of the one of the main problems is like you know people in the in the gay black meter are like, dude, that's fucked up. Like that they're he's shown? killing our people. Yeah. yeah. Well, are they they're upset that they were killing that he was killing their people and that I guess this is the sh I only watched episode one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Does it? Because that's all you need to watch, really. Does it demonstrate? Yeah. Does it demonstrate that the cops didn't give a fuck about the gay black community? And that's why it went on so long. Well, there, there was a, a black yeah. neighbor who was like for a year. This lady who was like, "Yo, it smells like death." Yeah, she was yeah. trying to tell. But me. I read that that wasn't. That was fictionalized. That oh. she wasn't an actually a neighbor. She lived in another complex. Or something. Oh. So, so you made a whole other building over? She smelled death. Yeah, yeah. It's death over there. But. <laughs> the, the lady, the lady that wrote like the, like the best-selling uh, biography of the guy said mm -hmm. like that wasn't true. That was fictionalized so that they could enhance the oh, story. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's all pissed. That's but, bullshit. But the thing is, it's yeah, like so something like that could happen in real life too. Like somebody could be calling the cops and yeah. nah, I don't want to listen to it. But there was an actual phone call though that. The lady was like, hey, I think there's something going on here. And the cops was like, oh, no, we already took care of it. But then they did. I mean, that mm -hmm. sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I could see that. But there wouldn't be any more of like a feeling if it was something closer to you. I would think I would think uh, part of me would be like, that's fucked up. He's killing all these people. But also like, all right, cool. Indian people getting their shine finally. <laughs> <laughs> Hot commodity. Yeah. A gig is a gig. It'd be fine. It would be dope to have like <laughs> nine or 12 Indian actors being play portrayed on television. That's how many people he yeah. killed. Right? And then it ends with a Bollywood oh, credit man. scene. Yeah, exactly. Just all dancing with the serial killer and zombies oh and God. shit. Oh it'll be fucking God. fire. It'll set up the, the <laughs> finale, you know? I'm sure, I'm sure there's... Serial killers in India that obviously only kill Indian people and shit. We never hear about them. We likely never will. But if we're glorifying, we gotta get some shine on them <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I think the, the, the they need some they need serial some serial publicists, serial. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We you guys gotta market yourself. Dude, man. I want to see the Bollywood serial killer movie. That'd be so. Dumb. Is there such a thing? <laughs> no, I don't know. Not no, yet, but the Bollywood movies yet, are the bro. shit, anyways, dude. They're, they're probably looking at serial murders like that. Shit is too basic. Yeah. <laughs> we need to be riding in on elephants, jumping over bridges, and exploding atomic bombs yeah, that bring yeah, us into yeah, space. Yeah, I love. I actually love Bollywood scenes, man. So sick. They just put so much work into that. They're the best. Like I think they're aware, they're self-aware of how crazy they are. So now, now that's not no longer parody. It's like we're just gonna have fun with it, and I think it's wow. beautiful. That's what I'm saying. The Dahmer yeah. version, Bollywood style, like that'd be <laughs> sick. I want to yeah. see that shit. On I feel like Vin Diesel's Dahmer. copying Bollywood. You know what I mean? Like Indian movies, Vin uh, Diesel and Fast and Vin the Diesel. Furious. Yeah, the just whole him. Fast and uh, Furious franchise. I feel like they're just trying to do what. Indian people have been doing in cinema. You know, yeah. overact. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I think they're doing. I think they're slowly trying to prep us for Indian cinema. Oh, mm. good. So they're just getting more and more Bollywoodish until we are finally ready to accept how cool Bollywood yeah, shit is. That's what The Rock's doing too. That's why he's like, that's the next market I got to tap into. Well, you see, it's I see really it pushed on like my Netflix all the time. Like, oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. More Bo and I'm like, oh shit, they're like Bollywood. Uh, Netflix produced Bollywood mm -hmm. films. Uh -huh. And I see that on my Netflix all the time. I just don't know which one to watch. Oh, you want to know? Yeah. RRR. R -R -R. That one's hilarious. What's RRR? -R -R? The one that came out on Netflix, fucking action movie. It's just two buff ass dudes. It's bananas. Are they doing like Superman shit? Because that's <laughs> yeah. what I really like. I have it's, to see this. It's Superman stuff. There's like the way they like dramatize and set up like hero characters and stuff like that. Everybody's super scared about this thing. Like these, this tiger or some shit, these mobs like jump up on this fence, everybody's like, oh, they're all scared, except for one dude, he's just yeah. standing there all stern and stuff. The way they set up heroes, later on when he takes off his shirt, he's got like 14 pack. Yeah. That's tight. Yeah. Whenever yeah. someone describes a Bollywood movie, it sounds like a child describing something they've seen. <laughs> <laughs> and then those tigers, it's like, what? <laughs> That's Bollywood. Exactly. I'm like doing a good job. It's sure like, it is, honey. <laughs> sure it is, Anthony. That's cute. Sure That's it is, cute. Eat, your, eat your vegetables. Watch this. Yeah. Hey, I will. <laughs> I will say though that I think Indian dance films are better than American dance films. Oh, by far. You seen one? You seen an Indian dance movie? Anything's better than Step Up Two in the Street. <laughs> you ever see two? Step Up Two in the Street? No, but it's the plot. It's like I didn't realize this because we know like as dancers we're always like, why are dance movies so like corny? But How then come you guys haven't written one. Ooh, because we can only do the dancing. We can't yeah. do the writing. <laughs> what was you? Did you think you got served was corny? No, I thought that was like. I actually thought that was perfect. But uh, there's there's Indian ones where they mix in cultural things, and that's what I realized is like in dance films, it can't tap into any like cultural stuff. Like in Street Dancer 3D, which is like a pretty big dance uh, movie in India, the plot is that this one dancer guy who's like traveling gets offered to to uh, kind of bring some like, to illegally bring some other like Indian guys over to like UK and they get stuck there 
and then they were like cheated out of their like you know indentured servitude. Mm -hmm. oh. So they were gonna come to a job and they actually like got scammed and now they're like begging him to like help them and he's like, ah oh, man, I'm I'm trying to dance. Damn, that sounds pretty real. <laughs> but it's like you get to see like oh culturally that's a fucking real problem. But then in dance films there is no real problem. It's just yeah. the rec center. Dance is a problem. Dance is a solution. Uh -huh. It's kind of, that's that's yeah. what I mean. I'm just, and that's oh, life, dance baby. Is the problem, dance is a solution. <laughs> or set in like a rom com setting. Or some shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. step up, exactly, yeah. Step up to setting. Like, Half of them. Or it's like fish out of water oh, okay. setting. It's yeah. like that kind of deal. They were just water. dancing in the streets. That's all I remember. Yeah. Like save the last dance and stuff. Exactly. And it gets real when they talk about like every Indian person in that film, their parents don't want them to dance. So it's pretty fucking right on the. Which is know. odd. I mean, I know Hassan is working. Hassan is working on a. Him and his co-creator working on a dance movie about like the Indian dance community and college dances and stuff. But it's odd to me that it, in that movie you're talking about that the Indian parents don't want someone to dance. Like my parents forced my sister to dance when, when they, like when they're <laughs> it's when opposite. Young. As, a, as a career? <laughs> Not as a career, no. But as oh. like a, a thing to pursue, just like and my sister. To get good at. I, yeah, and like mm -hmm. my sister, my and to my. Cousins were like obsessed with it. And is there a separation in like just the girls though, not the guys? Yeah, I mean, Bharat Natyam is classic Indian Indian dance, and it, it was something that they made them do. And then my sister and my two other cousins like became like very involved in because it was part of their culture and became like a very identifying thing for them. Yeah. They'd have huge meets, and they obviously didn't go on like doing it forever, but there's still a huge Indian dance community. Like big yeah. competitions and all that, so it's odd to me that people like don't dance. I think it's hard to turn into a career. Yeah, that's uh, where it's different because I don't see. We didn't see a lot of Indian dancers in the industry. I saw I saw Bangra dancers when I would do shows yeah, and stuff. Oh, they would, yeah, but that was colleges. its own industry. I feel like yeah. exactly. Yeah, you know I mean? that's like, just the thing. Indian yeah. entertainment industry and dance and that culture was so big on its own yeah. that they it was just so clearly another industry. It's mm -hmm. huge. Like where people that were not Indian would get hired to participate in those like that industry sometimes or. Didn't Smack also do like Indian dance? Yeah, 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 she got hired to do a Just Dance India, like Bhangra thing. Yeah. Wow. And that's with Ritesh, isn't it? It was with Ritesh, yeah. <laughs> Ritesh was the leader. Yeah. Dude, the movie should be about that culture, uh, that whole scene with Jeffrey Dahmer, like coming in <laughs> and only targeting the people that's like, oh, you're trying to come up with your dance career? I'm, I'm murdering I'll take some photos for you. There we go. <laughs> his, his name is Jeffrey, uh, what's, the, what's the Indian last name? Patel. Patel. <laughs> <laughs> We're over here in Hollywood. We're like, how come there's not a lot of Indian dancers in these uh, these music videos and stuff nowadays? All of them keep getting murdered. <laughs> By Jeffrey <laughs> Patel. <laughs> Jeffrey Patel, dude. Name of the show? Patel. Yeah. Patel. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, in terms of race, it's just a bad thing that. Uh, it's glorifying a murder so heinous, right? If I was like halfway serial killer, let's say I've done like, you know, <laughs> three, four murders already and I'm trying to like work up to my legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I see a Netflix show and it's just like, Dahmer. Right. In my mind, I'm like, oh my god, one day it's gonna be Lee. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's fully glorifying. Yeah, you're giving them an Olympics, basically. Yeah. Yeah. It's also a thing for a lot of those guys, like, they are narcissists, and that's what they're seeking. You know, they're seeking fame, even though it's through that mm -hmm. avenue. So, yeah, any like you said, any potential guy, or like school shooters, that's why there's copycats. It's the same shit. It's like, because they're being glorified. You know? you know what, though? There's another point, and Jason Cheney said it yesterday. You know Jason Cheney? I don't know who that is. Anyway. You guys saw each other's penises, but we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about, we'll talk about, about that about later. That. But he was saying, like, especially about Jeffrey Dahmer, he goes, yeah, like, all these guys probably want their name out there and all that, but at the end of the day, they just want to be loved, too, like everyone else. <laughs> that's what Jason Cheney said. Damn, that's empathy, bro. Nice that's empathetic. You know what I mean? But Jason yeah, Cheney's like, oh, that's so nice. Like, that's so nice. Dude, that's true, though, because his dad fucking never loved him, man. You saw that? Jeffrey Dahmer's saw, dad? Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer's dad. I, like, I thought you were talking about Jason. I was like, damn, like, dude, you just put him on blast. <laughs> <laughs> we put Jason out like that on him. Yeah. No, like, Jason, your father that. never loved you, man. No, that's true. He oh, that's a, that's a Star <laughs> Wars spoiler. That's right. why he goes around oh, wait, showing wait, wait. his dick to other dudes. Yeah. Pat can confirm his no, dad, dad didn't love really me. No, dad really didn't love him. He tells me all the time. He's like, my dad didn't love me. And then I hug him, and then he pulls out his dick. And that's usually, that's our friendship. That's our friendship. That's how it happens. You know what's, you want to know the worst fucking movie out of all the things, all the elements we've discussed? A Bollywood film hmm. that's an Indian version of Expendables, where all the characters are past school shooters. Past school shooters or past? <laughs> what? Thank you guys for joining us.